Today, we embark on a journey into the realm of Taoism, exploring its origins, philosophies, and principles, and how they continue to echo in our contemporary world. Diving right into the heart of chaotic times, the Warring States period in China, a time spanning from 475 to 221 BCE, witnessed a tremendous fragmentation. Political instability shrouded the landscape, bringing about devastating wars, famines, and power struggles that tore the fabric of society. However, this turmoil birthed an impressive intellectual pursuit as scholars embarked on a quest to restore peace and harmony through philosophical explorations, one such endeavor being Taoism. Conceptualized during this truly tumultuous period, Taoism offered solace through its core principles of harmony with nature, simplicity, humility, and the philosophy of Wu Wei, which is the practice of effortless action. Advocating non-contention and alignment with the Tao, Taoism struck a chord across social strata. In stark contrast to other philosophies like Confucianism, the harmonic and balanced standpoint of Taoism resonated emphatically within a society seeking tranquility. This quest for harmony has not only left a lasting imprint on Chinese society, arts, and governance, but also continues to resonate with modern-day seekers of balance amidst the chaos. Amid the chaotic milieu of the Warring States period, Taoism emerged as a saving grace. From 475 BCE to 221 BCE, the tide of profound philosophical shifts ebbed and flowed, subtly fostered by scholars seeking peace. Among these thinkers was Laozi, the esteemed author of the Tao Te Ching. His teachings, much like a stream winding through rocks, carved their path in a state of effortless action, a concept known as Wu Wei. As we explore the teachings of the Tao Te Ching, we discover the cyclic harmony of yin and yang, embracing the inevitable transitioning from day to night. Lao Zi invites us to approach our objectives gently, a tenet known as non-contention, and he accentuates the necessity of mental clarity achieved through meditation, reflecting a significant emphasis on the significance of openness. Does Lao Zi's wisdom strike a chord? It clearly did in ancient times, offering a counterpoint to philosophies like Confucianism and legalism. A harmonic melody of balance, open-mindedness, and alignment with nature illustrates Taoism's unique philosophy, with impressions resonating into modern Chinese society and beyond. So as we continue, remember the legacy of Taoism's teachings as a calming tambourine amidst the crashing symphony of chaos. Inherent within Taoism is the Tao, a core yet complex concept that extends beyond human comprehension. Often depicted through the symbol of yin and yang, which interconnects opposing forces maintaining a universal balance, Tao is both transcendent and imminent. It guides everything from its origin, like a seed's transformation into a tree, to its inevitable decline, mirroring life's cyclic path. How, then, can one tap into this elusive energy? The answer lies within. Inner tranquility, a state attainable through regular introspective practices like meditation, can enable us to attune to the subtleties of Tao. Similarly, the principle of Wu Wei, illustrated by a resilient bamboo bending with the wind rather than resisting it, proposes engaging in effortless action, in other words, adapting rather than opposing life's flow. Along this path, we are invited to trust our intuition, welcoming spontaneity as an aid and not an adversary. With these insights, Taoism encourages us to embody its teachings, guiding us towards a life marked by equilibrium with the universe and inner harmony. Dive into the world of Wu Wei, an enchanting concept imbued in the Tao Te Ching, China's timeless philosophical text. It nudges us towards effortless action, coaxing our instincts to lead. A flowing river does not contemplate its course nor question its destination. It simply abides by the laws of nature, a dance with Tao in its purest form. Such effortless action is not exclusive to Eastern thought, but finds parallels in Stoicism and the concept of flow in Western philosophy, where one operates at their peak potential with seamless ease. The essence of Wu Wei is not passivity, but aligning one's will with the natural flow of life. For instance, consider Butcher Ding, a legendary figure who mastered his craft to such an extent that his blade danced with effortless precision. His actions were born from intuition, akin to Wu Wei, rather than strained effort. The challenge lies in exploring this state of effortless action in our fast-paced lives. Yet, through mindfulness and trust in our intuition, we too can navigate life like a river, 
gracefully maneuvering around obstacles, embodying the Taoist principle of Wu Wei in our personal journeys. The philosophy of Taoism values Ziren, which embodies a spirit of naturalness and spontaneity as the foil to rampant human interference. It's like comparing a wild garden, flourishing naturally without human touch, to the engineered symmetry of genetically modified crops. Ziren seeks to accentuate the latter, endorsing an adaptable life woven into nature's rhythm. Now envision this principle folding into everyday life, cultivating a serene mind through meditation, inviting a natural alignment with the world's pulse, peeling off layers of complexity, thus ushering in spontaneity by reducing distractions. Notably, embracing Ziren paves the way for genuine, unforced relationships. Like bamboo swaying effortlessly in the wind, it underscores the Taoist doctrine of Wu Wei, or effortless action. By putting Ziran into practice, we attune ourselves to the hushed whispers of the Tao, navigate life's riverbanks with intuition, and integrate a rich seam of authenticity into our interactions. Effortless, spontaneous, natural, a blueprint for life drawn from the wisdom of Ziran. This vivacious essence of Taoism, a culmination of its timeless wisdom, seamlessly marries simplicity with profundity, guiding us on an introspective journey towards a more balanced existence. Picture the Warring States period from 475 to 221 BCE. Time favored the brave innovators, and among them, Taoism surfaced to articulate balance through the duo of yin and yang. These fundamental concepts forged an unbreakable bond with Taoism, representing the dance of dualistic aspects of life and reality. Probe deeper, revealing yin, symbolizing darkness, femininity, and earth, colluding with yang, the emblem for light, masculinity, and heaven. Together they form a profound symphony of balance. A counterpart to the elementary principles of yin and yang is the more specific roles of these same forces within Taoism. In this context, yin channels darkness, coldness, and restfulness, a stark contrast with yang, which holds sway over light, heat, and activity. Their roles are as cyclic as the changing seasons, with yang breathing life into the summer season and yin bringing calmness of winter. This philosophy stretches beyond metaphysical definitions, shaping practices like Tai Chi and acupuncture. For in the distinctive yin-yang symbol lies the visual equilibrium. Embrace this transformational potential rooted in the harmony of yin and yang to weave balance into the fabric of your existence. The path to understanding the Tao is often attained through disciplined practices. Let's look at Tai Chi and Qigong, two physical expressions of Taoism. For Taoists, Every graceful movement of Tai Chi and Qigong represents a chance to enact Wu Wei, or effortless action. As your limbs sway and flow, they do so without forced effort, just like nature unfolds without exerting itself. The intertwining of breath and motion heightens vitality and cultivates tranquility, making Tai Chi and Qigong an art form that promotes both physical and mental well-being. But the quest for alignment with Tao extends beyond mere physicality. The quest for cosmic understanding takes a much calmer form through Taoist meditation techniques such as Zhou Wang. By focusing on the posture and regulating your breath, one can nurture mindfulness and attune oneself to the Tao and its principles, including the lauded Wu Wei. The path of Taoism leads to a deeper understanding of self and universe alike, inviting the practitioner to join the cosmic dance in harmony and tranquility. Truly, the most profound insights come not only to those who study, but also to those who practice, honing their bodies and minds to resonate with the natural rhythm of the Tao. Stepping back onto the yesteryears of Eastern philosophy, we find two frameworks of leadership emerging, Taoism's Wu Wei and Confucianism's Li and Xiao. Wu Wei, predicated on effortlessness, espouses a nature-centric approach where leadership is as graceful as a bird's flight, exercising influence without strenuous exertion. Concurrently, Confucianism extols Li and Xiao, showcasing a more proactive leadership style rooted in structured rituals and familial reverence. Picking up this historical thread, we see the intricate embroidery of these philosophies onto daily life's fabric. Chinese society bears testament to the fusion of Confucian order and Taoist peace in customs and practices. A deeper dive highlights periods of convergence such as during the Han Dynasty and the era of Neo-Confucianism. Even today, the Qingming Festival, an event that seamlessly interweaves Taoist and Confucian rites, stands as a vivacious reminder of the integrated essence of both philosophies. With each practice illuminating fundamentals of Wu Wei, Li, and Xiao, 
We take each step, connecting us closer to comprehending the dynamic interplay of Taoism and Confucianism in shaping the societal ethos. The profound influence of Taoism transcends historical eras to furnish contemporary disciplines with insightful teachings. Observe how the principles underscore present-day practices resonating in the world of arts, where minimalistic expressions echo its simplicity. In the realm of psychology, mindfulness garners inspiration from Taoism's emphasis on awareness and tranquility. The Harvard Business Review, in 2014, even referenced Wu Wei, a Taoist concept proposing its application to leadership strategies. Visualize the elegance of a Tai Chi practitioner, embodying the harmony Taoism advocates, or the mindful setup of a living space resonating with feng shui elements, a system deeply entwined with yin and yang. The global resonance of Taoism comes to light as one navigates the complex corridors of philosophy and practice. Dialogues between Taoism and Western philosophy reveal intertwined themes, as in the concept of amor fati and stoicism, mirroring Taoism's acceptance of life's flow. Similarly, the mindfulness and presence propagated by acceptance and commitment therapy have echoes in Taoist philosophy. Moreover, eco-philosophies advocating interconnectedness and respect for nature derive wisdom from Taoist tenets. Today, Taoism's influence permeates the fabric of our global cultural and spiritual landscape, underscoring the philosophy's far-reaching impact and enduring relevance. The intricate language of the Tao is gracefully captured in the symbols of yin and yang. Representing the universal rhythm of balancing forces, the Tao symbolizes the ultimate principle, while yin and yang embody complementary elements of reality. Prioritizing effortlessness above strife, Taoism introduces us to Wu Wei. A bamboo bends with the wind, not fighting against it, exemplifies the realm of Wu Wei. A Taoist embraces such effortless action, harnessing wisdom over wasteful exertion. Now imagine these age-old principles infiltrating your life routines and social practices. Centuries-old practices such as Tai Chi and meditation spring to mind. Each gracile movement, each rhythmic breath responds to the ancient verse of Wu Wei, enfolding you into a mesmerizing dance with inner harmony. Life, under the influence of Taoist Ziran, adapts to a more sustainable mold, treasuring naturalness and spontaneity amid the monotony. Even the conflicts we occasionally stumble upon Find resolution in the balance of yin and yang, turning adversity into a concord of empathetic accord. So, as we unpack Taoism, remember that it's not an esoteric philosophy confined to ancient texts. Instead, it's a vibrant way of life, pulsating within the ordinary moments of our everyday existence.